I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrammed. This was what the end of time would look like. kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken, in chaos, frozen, okay. and no one would know. Nice boat. Hold still. Hold still. Come on, come on, come on. were moving out of time, out of order, tire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying... 
We go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Dr. Amaral seems convinced that Paul's been to the end of time. Do you think that's true? Can't be. Otherwise, trying to prevent it would be pointless. Why? Because it's already happened. Hatch. This is the guy that visited me in the cell. Hmm. Sounds like Serene's on to him. According to Monarch Communications, Hatch sabotaged a Monarch lab. You may be undermining Paul, but I get the impression he's not on our side. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before, she knows what it does. You think we'll told her about it? Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. Okay, the first red light is now green. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. Hmm. Huh. Guess you thought you might come back. Is that...? Yep. Will's personal psychiatrist. Wanna get her a try? I think that giraffe's holding enough baggage. <laughs> My artsy rebel phase. Complete with a very rebellious how-to guide. I always wanted to try this, actually. Never had the time.
What's wrong? Toto. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman... It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. <sighs> Jesus. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind. Of course. Shit. I'm still getting used to that. Don't expect to. 